Good day, gang. Back playing the chain game. <laughs> it's another one of these uh, Alloy Tech Holden V6s. This one was booked in for a um, a pair of head gaskets because it had, or it has, oil in the water. Um, it also had codes on the on the um, check light codes, engine check light codes. It came up with. Um, Tommy chain issue. It's not uncommon for these, they stretch the chains, so you've seen me do one before. But this one doesn't look so bad, it's not stretched out of its gourd like a lot of the other ones that you, you know, especially that last one I did, that was stretched out of control. But what I did find, I'll just turn on my light here. Okay. So let's just let's just watch down here. We'll watch that watch that area right there. Let's turn this around. You see that? You can see that. The crank she turning. Let's plug the key out. And that's why the reference between the crank and the camshaft is coming up as a stretch chain. So I'll get another gear and get another uh, key chain kit. The water or the oil in the coolant, and there's lots of it. Isn't the head gasket? It's um. Transmission oil come from the coolers in the transmission and the pipes go in there. There we go. The cooler pipes. There's my man. There's the cooler pipe right there. Now normally you would think that would be red because of the red oil, but if the oil in the transmission is black. You aren't going to get any red in here, are we? So... Uh, and I confirmed that it is transmission fluid by the fact that it has no oil in the transmission. So... Although it's got no, very little engine oil in it too, but that's, I think, lack of maintenance. But the guy decided he wanted to go on with it, 300,000 kilometres. 40,000 since it's been serviced apparently by the sticker, but who knows, someone might have done an oil change and not change the lube sticker. So we're going to flush all this muck out of it as well. Put the chains on, chain kit, and a new radiator, transmission service, hoses, because it's all. It's gone, it's just oil from everything. So change all the hoses so they don't explode. And uh, yeah, another lovely day. I'll bring you back when I get that off and I'll just give you a look at the condition of that key. Well, are we ready? Let's see what we find. Hmm. I'm stuck it there. For some reason. Uh, it's got a bit of a dag on it, actually. Someone's had grips on it. It's got a bit of a dag there, so I'll file that off. We'll have another turn at getting around. Well, well, we're off. Got a weird sort of a setup in there. I'll try and get the clear out of the way. That is why it's like that. Looks like it's been purposely done that way. Alright. I'd suggest we don't use that bit again. What have we got down in here? Oh. Oh, I see. 
That's what we got. Okay. That's what that weird mark's all about. It's a pin. It's not a key. Huh. So that's what that niche, mm, that little notch is there. Can you see it? That little notch just there is. You can see that notch. Just on uh, on that side there. Yeah, that's where she's worn in. Okay, so it just need a gear. The pin, I think, looks alright. Obviously, the gear's meant to give up before anything else does, so I think it'll be alright. Yeah, I think it'll be fine. Oh well, I know where I stand now. So. I'll give you the pain, I'll give you the pain of seeing it all go back together again and so forth. But I just thought that'd be interesting to see what might have been the issue with that. The uh, oil in the water come from the radiator. And uh, yeah. So I just gotta wait on parts now. Have yourselves a goodie. Check you later.